Good evening, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to my TV. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for brand new content. This is your boy, Gold Mouth Short. Let me get straight down to business. Make sure you hit that post notification bell button so you'll be in the loop every time I drop a video. If you really support the channel, hit that cash out, mad promo. Let me get straight down to business. Today, we got the R&B legend, R. Kelly, in the news headlines. Um, according to some media uh, outlets, the uh, R&B singer just got jumped on in the cell because he was in a sex pod, you know what I mean? He was trying to get some peace and quiet time and get on the phone with his girlfriend and a whole bunch of cats just rushed him and they bum rushed him and they just started beating him. And uh, his lawyer done spoke out because he just had a court date May 10th and he was denied in the... Uh, a hearing to get more time before his trial because you know his lawyer she said she need more time to go over all the documents and transcripts in his case you know what i mean because she trying to get a delay on his trial but right now they need to get him up out of new york uh prison and get him back to chicago because he just got beat real bad and it looked like he gonna be in intensive care and uh the spokeswoman for his uh, label and for uh, his uh, record company, they spoke out, man. They say, man, they're very sorry about the situation because R. Kelly really is an innocent man. He's sitting in prison in county for uh, sex trafficking, nine counts of dealing with underage women, and they said it might be some male victims. But I don't know all that there. I'm just trying to tell you what the charges they got up on him. And, you know, everything that got sent to the feds. And now that they're saying that he getting beat up in open-based dorms, then, you know, that's not good. Because y'all know about a month or two ago, uh, it, was a, it was a phone call made where a dude made R. Kelly get on the phone and sang a song. Because he was under extortion. And that was going on in New York. Where they said he got bum rushed today for trying to use the phone and telling the cats, man, just back up off of him and let him get some quiet time. Because he got a lot on his mind. You know what I mean? Because they trying to put more charges on him in Chicago. And his lawyer trying to stop all pending charges. So when they beat one case, they don't have to worry about the state refiling another one and running his sentence as well so he can get a life sentence because they saying he looking down the barrel of a life sentence and everybody know he is not able to read and write. He don't comprehend good. So, you know what I mean? The boy, uh, SLD, slow learning disability. The Chicago native uh, allegedly put the crimes on his brother and he said that it wasn't him in these videos. They said it was a new sex tape came out where he allegedly doing some uh, some bad acts on some little kids. But we're going to find out because he said, man, this is double jeopardy. How y'all going to use the same tape from the first trial in my new trial? You know what I mean? I beat all them charges. Y'all bringing up old stuff. So we're going to find out. If it's old or is it new, but you know he got to go from New York uh, jail to Chicago. And he might still got some uh, charges in Polk County, Florida, where he had his house at in the first uh, case. Because y'all remember some of the girls that came from Florida, they even had some dudes breaking his house in Georgia and clear everything got and stole all his stuff. So, yeah, he just been going through it, man. But they was really searching for that tape because they know it's some old tapes. And uh, the dude recorded something like 700 tapes. You know what I mean? Through his careers, he would buy tapes and he would record females doing sexual acts. And he would just have so many tapes, he would misplace the tapes and have them all over his house. And whenever he feel horny, he would go look at all the tapes. But they say there's a lot of underage girls on those tapes. And they might be bringing Sparkle back in that uh, 
witness that was trying to get him in the first case, but they saying they can't do that. But we're going to see how this trial turned out. Let me know what y'all think in the comments about our Kelly getting beat up. Peace of mind.